Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am doing a report today. I am not happy with this painting and I'm going to use some clear to preserve the spots that I like and make the rest of the painting a predominantly blue painting. Well, it's going to be white and blue. So, before I get started, I need to say to you, Merry Christmas. I missed you guys. I couldn't wait to get back here. I felt so out of my element not being able to post every day, but I was sick. So, not that it's a good thing to be sick, but it happened during the holidays. So, I'm glad <laughs> it's, it's done with. I'm getting better. I feel great now. And... I'm just happy to be back. So I hope you all had a really great holiday. And I truly did miss communicating with you on an almost daily basis. Because I post almost daily. So, colors I am using are All Lorez. This is the Dory Blue, which is a paste. Then I have... The Adriatic Blue, one of my favorite colors. Then I have a little concoction of Blue Sapphire Paste and uh, Blue Diamond Powder, which Laura Usher told me about when I first started doing this, and I just love the combination. Thank you, Laura. And then... Angel White. So, I'm going to start pouring immediately because I have this problem with not being able to get just one video clip, upload it, get it out there quick. <clears throat> My videos are going over by two minutes and then I have to use an editing program and it's just a pain in the butt. So, I'm going to get right into it and talk while I go. So, I've seen a lot of people doubting themselves lately. You know, thinking they're not as good as some. And the funny thing is, is a lot of the stuff that I see, as far as the artwork goes, it's gorgeous. So... I want to just tell you that we all have our bad days. As a matter of fact, as soon as I get done with this painting, I'm going to show you my last three paintings that I did not post. This being one of them, because I just thought it was absolute garbage. Now, I know it's not absolute garbage, but in my head, I don't think it's good enough. And I think what happens too is, we watch a lot of these um, YouTube channels, and you can include my, my channel in there too. And, you know, you see things that you absolutely love, and then you try to accomplish the same thing, and it just doesn't work. And then you start doubting yourself. Trust me when I say, even, even the best artists out there go through times where they cannot, for the life of them, come up with an idea, let alone achieve that idea. So, don't think it's just you. It's all of us. With that being said, I will be able to prove to you just how bad I've been lately <laughs> in a few moments. I have literally produced a painting that looks like a set of boobs, no matter where you look at it. I've created a painting that has a hole in it because I forgot when I, it was a re-pour and I forgot I had used Resi Blast in the first pour. So that one has a hole in it. It looks like garbage. So there, there's just a bunch of things that can happen. <clears throat> But anyway, don't doubt yourself. Just keep going, thinking in your head that you can, you can, you can. 
So I've poured some clear over the areas that I want to protect. And now I'm going to go in with a bunch of white for the other areas. And I'm hoping I made enough here. If I didn't, I'm in big trouble. Now, even though I put down some clear over those areas with heating and moving and all that, it's still possible that I'm going to cover up some of it, but hopefully I'll be able to see a little of it in the end. I'm just adding more clear to my white cup. And I'm going to give it a stir before I add more colorant because it may be enough still in there where I don't need to add any more or I may have to. Well, let's see. Let me spread it. Yeah, it's too milky. It's milky. It's not clear, uh, dark enough. Opaque. Opaque is the word. So I'm going to get a clean stick, not that you can see what I'm doing, and just add a little more white in to my clear here. So I hope you all had a great holiday with your families or friends, whoever may be in your life. Mine was fun, to say the least. Um, Clyde is not speaking to me at this moment because for the first time in... 13 years, that's how long I've owned a cat, I forgot to buy them a Christmas present. How horrible is that? I am a bad, bad woman. So, needless to say, they are very upset. But I did run out and get a bag, big jumbo-sized bag of treats, so they're happy now. Except for Clyde, he could play a little hard to get. Well, he'll get over it. Alright, so I have all my weight on there. Next up, I'm going to put down the Dory Blue. For this one, I'm going to do some like puddles with a tail. That's that's what I call it. A puddle with a tail. Well, if I put another little puddle there, now I have a penis. Look at that. See, I'm just so artistic. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, and then a little bit up through here.
Another thing I wanted to mention was um, swiping. There's a wax stencil paper sold at Hobby Lobby that you can swipe with and it actually, once it's dry, it actually peels right off of the stencil paper. I'm going to show you at the end of this. It'll peel right off and you can reuse the paper or better yet, I've tried it and it works. You can swipe on this paper and then let it cure and then use that swipe to create your pendants, jewelry, stuff like that. Hopefully I can find it online. And I'll link it below for you guys. I thought it, that was really cool. Okay, and then I'll put a little bit here. And then a little tiny bit up in here. And then the last color will be the blue diamond with the blue sapphire. All right, I'm hoping that'll work, guys. Wish me luck. I think I had put clear here, but I can't tell. I just can't tell anymore. All right, so now I'm going to give it a... Quick heating, move it around a little bit. I like to heat the whole piece and pop the bubbles first.
Ooh, what is that in there? A little piece of something. The hell? I don't know where that came from. Let me tilt this around a little bit. So I have to do something over here with all of this white. I'm going to add a little more clear to the white cup. Whoops, I am a hot mess boy. This is what happens when you don't work for a few days. You're just going to add a little bit of white right in through here. With some of the blue diamond, blue sapphire mix. A little more white <clears throat> up over here. Want to see if I get a little more selling.
So I'm going to let that cure and see what ends up becoming of it. We have some beautiful cells developing, so I don't want to really mess with it too much. And I like the way the pink is popping up from behind it. I actually like that a lot. A few spots here I just want to change. Geez, I'm dripping everywhere, my fingers. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. I'm going to leave it alone and let it cure. And then if I feel like it needs more then I will uh, look into it. I almost want to reintroduce some silver, but I'm afraid that it may be too much. Okay, so I've decided to leave it alone. Sorry, I had you on pause for a second there. Not that you would have known that, but the way I started talking <laughs> made it sound like you were on pause. So, there are a lot of cells developing. I want to address the whole torch issue. Using a torch to get cells can be a little, uh, because in order for me to open up, let's say I want to try to open up some more cells in this area, I really need to hold that heat on there. You see what I mean? And you take a chance of burning your resin when you do this. You know, what I do is I get whatever cells I'm going to create with my heat gun and I use this only to pop bubbles. That's it. So, I mean, it's your artwork. I see some people out there, though, they're, they are burning their resin when they're, they're holding it and holding it and holding it in one spot. It's just, it's going to burn. So now, um, I'm just going to let it sit. It's got this like interplanetary, like weirdness going on and I kind of like it. Up close, it's very pretty. I will give you a close-up in one second, but I wanted to show you guys something here. 
This is the paper that I was talking about for swiping. So I just put some uh, resin on there, let it cure. And here you go, look at it, peels right off. So I will link that below. And what else did I want to tell you before I let you go? Anything? Oh, stone coat. I don't know if this is happening to you guys or not, but this is what I have just pulled out of my stone coat container. It's only a month old. Please leave a comment below if this has happened to you. So I have it in its container. A few videos back I had mentioned that I put some in a squeeze bottle that had a cap on it. And I went to use it. It wasn't coming out. I literally pulled the the stone coat cured in the squeeze bottle and I literally pulled it out. It was the, a piece of hard plastic rubbery stuff like that and I literally pulled it out and laid it out and it was the shape of a bottle, tip and all. So I don't know what's going on here if you have only a certain amount of time to use this before this rubberization starts. but. I sent them a message to find out what the issue can be. And uh, my black, I had to totally throw away. It was almost full. I had to throw the whole thing away. And uh, I'm going to find out what's up with that for you guys and keep you posted. So let me give you a close-up. I almost feel like that's like right there, a planet poking out from behind something, if that makes sense. In another world, I'll tell you I'm digging it a lot more than I was before, that's for sure. You have to use your imagination to find the beauty in these things, you know? Okay, so here is my boob painting. Don't ever feel like you're the only one that has issues because what in the holy hell is this? Speaking of genitals, an alcohol ink piece I did. Now, here is a thumb, like this, see, thumb, nail. Look at this coming out of the top. <laughs> My artwork is telling me something. <laughs> or you can see a person here. You know, we all, I'm only showing you this because we have fun finding images and things. So this looks like uh, an arm, an arm, the face, the body, and the pants, like somebody jumping downward. Oh, there's all kinds of images in this. I, I just can't. Anyway, I want to thank you guys from wa for watching. I will leave the link for the wax paper below. If you have any questions, leave them below. As always, thank you for tuning in and happy pouring.